So I'm totally amateur, guys. Like, uh, all I do is put this makeup on to where I look halfway decent. To go out in public and make it look like I halfway know what I'm doing. I don't wear a lot of makeup. I pretty much just wear, I pretty much just put my makeup on to cover my sunspots from sun damage, spots from eczema scratching, and pretty much just cover my blemishes. As long as I cover my blemishes and still look natural, then I'll be good. I'm gonna do what I can to get by. Um, I'm pretty much comfortable with how I do my makeup. Um, I don't think I would pay a whole bunch of money to go to a makeup class because I'm not interested in makeup like that. So I'm pretty much just going to continue to apply and watch my YouTube videos. I have watched so many YouTube videos to where I feel like I pretty much got the basic stuff down to make it look decent. Uh, I'm doing my concealer over my eyes for eyeshadow backwards because from the YouTube videos that I watched, I was supposed to put the concealer first on top of the eyelids so that the eyeshadow would pop. But I don't wear eyeshadow a lot, so I'm always used to putting my foundation over my eyelids and be done with that part. <laughs> but because I'm doing this for the photo shoot, I should have put it first, but I didn't. So, like I said, I just try to cover my blemishes here. My dark spot where I scratch with eczema. I'm allergic to, I have some type of food allergy. I have not been to the food allergy doctor, but I know when I eat certain stuff, my face go to itching on the sides right here by these lip noise. And so I scratch sores and then it turn black. I gotta cover that up just to cover up the dark circles around my eyes, the dark blemishes and sunspots on my face. When I tell you it's basic, it's basic application. This palette is Paris Hilton, Platinum Paris Hilton. You see, this is how basic I am, one color. I do love watching people do their makeup because it be so interesting, so cute, and they be so creative. I don't think I will ever get a chance to be that creative as some of these women that be doing their makeup so beautiful. I know a lot of women say the brows don't have to be twins. They can be just sisters. <laughs> but my brows are so thin and I be wanting my brows to look like how they naturally are. I don't want the the big box looking ones. I just want to enhance the thinness that I have because they definitely thin. So I just want to enhance it a little bit. For that part, I feel like I can go with a little more concealer because I do be seeing that they add a lot of concealer under here in these areas and your highlight areas. I like to go ahead and put the glue on my lashes midway. So sometimes, well, I, I, I apply a lot of glue because my, my original lashes are so thin, like they're not existent. So I let those sit and get really, really tacky, almost dry before I put them on. And then when I can remember, I put mascara on my lashes so that they catch well once they really tacky. Cause my shits is real, real thin, <laughs> as you can see. So I just wanna, I'm gonna go with my little bigger eyeshadow thing and I'm going real fast just to do some extra blending. <laughs> 
boys really don't mean nothing, honey. But go in. And then I'm finna go in and finish blending this in. Just for a little, since it's a photo shoot, I'm going just with a little extra. I normally don't put this much for highlight under my eyes and stuff in my highlight spot. But for the sake of the photo shoot, and then I don't want to do too much actually for the sake of the photo shoot because his lighting is going to be really good. I don't want to come off as a ghost and be too light bright neither in my highlight area. But hopefully I'm applying it and blending well enough to where it won't do that. I literally had no idea how to contour a nose. <laughs> literally. Bear with me because I don't know. I know I'm probably applying this darker shade incorrectly. Um. this camera oh look at this i got that dark contour all down here instead of that's what i told y'all bear with me this setting powder that i like from the beauty supply hd a RK by Kiss that I just, I like to go under and put under my eyes to bring some of my natural skin tone back into it. So it's not too light bright. Got cover girl. This is a um, loose powder, professional loose powder, honey, that I'm gonna put over my whole face. You wanna do my edges? Figure I had bought some hair ties. I don't know how this should be. You just want one buddy? Cause I really don't wanna take these. I tried to cancel my photo shoot because it was a whole ordeal with these braids. I bought the hair for the braids, and then I learned at the last minute when my show was gonna premiere for the cooking channel, and I had already bought this hair. Tried to take the hair back, it was too late, so I could get a better style. Then I was gonna have to buy more hair and be sitting on this hair, so I went ahead and got the braids, and now I'm stuck taking the photo shoot in the braids that I'm not, quite that I don't quite like or whatever but I mean I like it but not for a professional photo shoot but I gotta make what's due If you force him, he's not gonna ever want to no. go in there on his own. No, like you have to like pick him up and put him in there. No, like, he's scared. You stop for a second, like, then try again, then he'll go. He's so dirty. Basic beauty supply I've been having for years because I don't hardly ever wear it. I ain't lying when I say years because I've had them like, <laughs> I moved out of, I had been in my apartment when I bought them for 10. And I've only been in this apartment for a year, I mean this house for a year. So I've had these for like eight years. <laughs> That's how much I don't wear 
uh, blush and full face of makeup because I'm cool with just foundation, lashes, and lip gloss. I don't know how you got all this stuff. I know y'all might not think my makeup is decent enough for a professional photo shoot, but I didn't want to pay nobody. I'm in. A, not only am I cheap and didn't want to pay nobody, but I'm also last minute, so I wouldn't even had time. And it's not even a fact that I wanted to be last minute for this. Um, the producers, my producers, let me know that the show, what the dates for the show premiere was last minute. So my whole photo shoot booking and all of that is last minute because I'm like, y'all could have let me know. Y'all could have let me know this last month and at least gave me a month because y'all the ones editing. Y'all know when y'all trying to get it out. I just been waiting to hear from y'all. But it is what it is. Wingman on the side. <laughs> <laughs> she making sure everything stays intact and stuff like that. So, I'm so glad to have you. <laughs> this, is, this is my finished look on my face. I'm actually digging my makeup. Um, for my first photo shoot, I'm nervous. But, um, I'm, I'm ready to have fun with it though. First, first time for everything. Yeah, oh, I saw I should touch up the way. Okay. She got to touch up my edges.